Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. In this video, I'll be reviewing Complete 14 Select, Native Instruments Entry-Level Instrument and Effects Bundle. I won't be able to cover every single feature and nuance, but hopefully I'll provide enough information to help you decide if it's worth buying. If you do end up liking it, I've provided an affiliate link in the description. Your purchase does not cost you anything extra, but will help support this channel and help me continue providing quality videos. Here's an overview of what's included when you pay the $199 price of Complete 14 Select. Monarch, an analog-based mono synth for creating lead synth, bass, and percussion sounds. Massive, a synthesizer for creating fat basses and piercing leads and many other complex sounds. Reactor Prism, a responsive polyphonic instrument and effect based on the innovative modal synthesis from Reactor. Reactor 6 Player, a host for all complete instruments powered by Reactor. Contact 7 Player, the newest version of the free contact player that allows you to run all contact-based instruments. Soul Sessions, a contact instrument with keys, live guitar, bass plucks, horns, vintage synths, and more. The Gentleman, a classic upright piano with built-in effects and many customization options. Retro Machines Mark II. 16 analog synthesizers and keyboards with many presets. Scarby Mark I, an iconic 70s electric piano. Scarby Rickenbacker Bass, a sample of a Rickenbacker 4003. Ethereal Earth, an atmospheric and textural instrument that lets you create otherworldly sounds. Vintage Organ, a bundle of five classic organs, the Hammond B3, C3, and M3 as well as a Farfisa Compact and Vox Continental II. Drum Lab, a drum layering library that combines analog and acoustic sounds. West Africa, a collection of African percussion and melodic instruments. Replica, two delay plugins and a diffusion algorithm. Solid Bus Comp, a bus compressor that can be used on single channels, subgroups, or the master channel. ROM, a high fidelity reverb plugin. Modpack Phases, a unique phasing plugin. And the following are expansions that add kits and presets to Machine, Battery, Monarch, and Massive. We have Backyard Jams, Motherboard, Neo Boogie, Deep Matter, Solar Breeze, Lilac Glare, True School, and Velvet Lounge. Before demoing the sounds and features, here's a bit of technical specs about the package. Complete 14 Select. Works on Mac OS 10.14, 11, and 12. It also works on Windows 10 or 11. At minimum, it requires Intel Core i5 or an equivalent CPU. Apple Silicon using Rosetta 2 at the time of this video, so it does not yet run natively on Apple M1 chip. Although, according to comments I've read on social media, Native Instruments will be releasing that compatibility update soon. Make sure you have 40 gigabytes of space to install all the content. These are 64-bit plugins and work as VST, AU, and AAX hosts, meaning they will work in all major DAWs, including Logic and Pro Tools. Now let's listen to the sounds. Hey there. Uh, so if you're joining me, please say hi. I want to make sure that all the audio is good. I just updated the app. But um, I was going to make this video. I was going to pre-record everything, but... It was just going to take too long and I hate editing video, but I decided to do this live um, so I can have time to show you all the sounds and not have to edit it. So if you're out there, please say hi. If you hear me, please say, say that the sounds good or the sound volume is okay. This is going to be a very long live stream. As you can see from looking at my desktop, there are a lot of tracks open. Hey, Mark. So the first thing I'm going to go over is Monarch. And Monarch is a monosynth software. I think it's supposed to replicate the uh, Minimoog. The, I think it's Model D. So I'm going to quickly go over this. This is a very fat sounding, uh, sounding synthesizer. It has three oscillators. You have filters, uh, lots of options, noise, and you can you can make a wide range of bass sounds, lead sounds, 
um, percussion. So you can choose many different waveforms. You can adjust the volumes of each oscillator. You can start mixing them. It's very easy, simple to do. Now this is controlling the, the tuning. So it doesn't take really long to get a good sound out of this. Thank you. Monarch is used in the Reactor plugin, and there is a free version of Reactor, which is included in all of the complete bundles. So that's good news for you. So here's a cutoff. Resonance. Now, if you're new to analog synthesizers or analog synthesis um, and you don't know how to work your way around this, first take a tutorial on how to do it. But second, there are presets within this and they're categorized by bass, lead, classic, percussion effects. I'm going to go through a couple of them. Of course, I'm not going to be able to go through all the sounds because that would take more than a day. <laughs> listening on headphones some good headphones or computer monitors you're going to hear this really fat bass sound this is a great plugin they do they do encourage you to keep it set at 88,000 um or 80, 88 kilohertz because this is going to uh this requires a lot of cpu in order to sound very smooth and very realistic but because of that it sounds creamy so there's lots of presets in here already but with com the complete select bundle, you're going to get some more, oh, some expansions or some more presets, which I'm going to go over a little later. But in the meantime, I'll go s over some more sounds. So these are the leads. You could set the glide time on this. And then let's listen to the percussion sounds. So you can get some very deep kick sounds. Some snares. Some claps, hi-hats. Lots of classic sounds. So that is Monarch, and I'll touch that later. Then here is Massive. Massive is a heavyweight synthesizer for fat basses and piercing leads, according to their website. Now, this is an older plugin, but be even though it's old, um, it still is powerful and has some really great sounds in here. So this one gives you three oscillators as well. There's a modulation oscillator, a noise, um, there's a couple of filters, effects, 
And I'm not going to uh, teach you how to use this. I know the basics of it, but I've never really gone in depth with it. So uh, if you go to the browser menu, this is sort of like OmniSphere in the fact that, in, in the sense that you can categorize sounds. On the left side, you have your bank names. Bank names. So here will this will contain your expansions. Um, if you do get this, you're going to have the factory settings or factory presets. Let me look for that really quickly. Massive factory. I think that's it. Um, yeah, factory. Then you have types like piano, organ, synth lead, etc. Subtypes. So it gets more specific. And then modes. On the right hand, you have the names of your actual presets. So here's 1991. That one's monophonic. You can have sequenced lines. So lots of interesting sounds that you can make with this. I'm going to go to the categories. So here are pianos. They're not real pianos. This is all synthesis. Remember that. Now you're bound to find one that is inspiring or that sounds great to your ears. Some of these are, in my opinion, are throwaways. I wouldn't use every single one. Let's listen to the organs. has a harmonica sound. You can get lots of sounds from this. That doesn't sound like a rock organ, but uh, I can I can see how they would call it that. All right, let's go to synth leads. Is this the same library that comes with the full version of Contact? If if you get anything higher than Complete 14 Select, this will be included. So this is the lowest possible bundle that you can get with uh, Native Instruments right now. So the way I plan to do this is I'm going to make a do a live for Select or Complete 14 Select, which is their lowest bundle, and then I'm going to do Complete. 14 standard which is going to include everything that I mentioned in this video plus more so I'll I'll review the new stuff and then I'll I'll go to um, I'll do complete 14 ultimate which is going to have even more including everything in the previous videos etc and then um, so each each new video that's going to have it's going to involve or include all the products from the previous videos that's a nice sound right there All right, let's listen to pads. Pads are one of the things that I look for most in uh, in synthesizers. I want beautiful, lush pads. This one's Arrival on Pluto. Breath on Ice. Lots of different sounds here.
Here's Summer Pad. Ooh, tearjerker. I like crying. I'm kidding. I don't like crying. That does not make me cry or even get teary. All right, I'm going to skip a few of these. Actually, pluck strings. Let's hear that. I like that one. It, so it's interesting, all the different sounds you can create yourself using this software. All right, bass. So this doesn't sound as fat as the Monarch as far as basses go or kicks go. Uh, it sounds a li little more digital, but with that being said, it is polyphonic and you can get some great pad sounds and polyphonic synths in here. Here are drums. That's okay. Not amazing, but it's it's good. These are flutes. I like that. Oh, this is cool. Bowed strings, let's hear that. So I'll visit this later uh, because there are expansions for Massive. So this is a great plugin. Um, I don't use it that often because I have so many synth other synth softwares, but because this is included, I think it's a great deal. All right, the next is Reactor Prism. Now there is a full Reactor plugin and a Reactor player. Prism is a, is a plugin that uses modal synthesis to create sounds. Um, I'm going to show you what it sounds like just initialized. So you can start creating your own or shaping the sound by adjusting the, um, the impulse, the noise level, the resonance cutoff, uh, including partials. So, so um, all the little harmonics in the sound can be adjusted to where it can start sounding like a, a real acoustic instrument like a flute or a drum or something like that it looks kind of complicated but it's not really here's the ADSR so if you want to create a, like a bass sound here are the effects at the bottom Some noise, noise resonance. So you can change the timbre of the sound with this, with these partials. You can change the release, and this is going to be updated. So 
sounds a little loud. And then it comes with presets here. So here is... Let's listen to the best of. I want to see how good these actually are. So you can get bell sounds out of this. So this is created for sound designers. People who have their own sound in mind and want to shape it. I love this one. Lonely Molecules. It's a nice bass. It's really amazing how you can get those metallic sounds. That does sound like a gamelon. Slow motion. Piano. Oh, pianesque. Kind of reminds me of Stranger Things in that annoying clock sound. Sort of. So, um, sorry, I keep forgetting the full name. Complete 14 Select comes with different, um, different reactor presets, and I'll go over those later. So let me go to the next one. Um, one of the biggest updates is Contact 7, and this comes with the free Contact player because it is free. And it comes with an, an updated library. Now, the cool thing about Contact 7 now is that the, the way that you can find your libraries has been changed. So it has this, the standard way, as before, as you can pick your libraries on the side, but it also has this new way that is reflected... Um, Reflective of the complete control software. So you can see an overview of all the libraries that you have. You can filter by sound type or character. So if I wanted to choose a bass, it's going to filter it like this. And let's say I choose um, one of the sounds that I have. It opens up a preset menu where you can listen to a preview of those sounds. This is great. You don't have to load all your plugins. You can just cycle through these and look for something inspiring. All right, so I'm going to go to the factory library. Factory selection. This is the library that's included with the software. They're uh, native instrument sounds. So you have band, synth, urban beats, Vintage, vintage instruments and world instruments. Now this is going to be very limited compared to the factory library 2 that comes with, I think, I believe it's a standard edition. So I'm going to go through a few of these just so you can hear the quality. These are pretty old, but they're not bad at all. Here's a classic bass. You have some controls over the uh, effects, like you can make it monophonic, you can change the tone, change the noise. This is going to be the release. This is the, re this is the, um, sorry, the release noise, and this is the release of the sustain. Then you can have, you have some effects here like drive, distortion tone, and wah, and then reverb, EQ, 
and then cab. Let's keep going. Clav, it's okay. These are very small, 0.74 megabytes. Here's a funk kit. The quality is good. The only thing that makes this different from a higher quality drum library is the ability to control um, every single nuance of the of the the pieces, and there's not really much depth as far as uh, samples go. So I'm hitting it very softly, and it's, it sounds like I'm hitting it loud. Here's a jazz guitar. It's okay. Jazz organ. In. The muted trumpet actually sounds pretty good. Here's a pop kit. That sounds all right. Ragtime piano. That was a bad performance. Rock guitar. I mean, this would only be good if you're maybe playing some chords in the back. Doesn't sound really great. Now, if you put some reverb on it, it might sound a lot better. By the way, if you like this so far, please hit that, hit that like button. And then uh, let's go to the next one. Street knowledge. Upright bass. That's, that actually sounds pretty good. Here are synths. Here's an arpeggiator. Again, all of these are old old plugins but uh, they've been updated a little bit um, this works like a regular synthesizer with cut off resonance low pass and high pass filters you can mix two different oscillators I believe and then you can make it monophonic adjust the glide then so lots of different options here. The uh, envelope, master effects. Let's go to the next one. Trying to come up with something inspiring. So this would probably do sound better if you actually programmed in the notes and it sounded very mechanical. All right, next kit, April Fool's kit. Suburban. Here's 
here's a lead called Hard and Dirty. Sounds good. Ooh, this is Bogart pad. That is really nice. Ooh, wow. Okay, I really love this sound. Uh, that was beautiful through and through. All right, Pad Crystal. Now, this is a good reminder that just because something is old does not mean that it is obsolete. I'm talking about myself, but no, I'm kidding. I'm not old yet. <laughs> Although I have been called a boomer before. All right, that's that was a synth section from Factory Selection. No, I don't want to. Okay, beat him down. These are urban beats. Here are the preset beats in these purple keys. Now, just like a drum machine, sort of like the Roland 808, or I'm, I'm not sure about the Lin drum. Um, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure how that works. I've never used one before. But you can adjust the mix of each drum piece, like bass drum, snare. Um, I forgot what this is. Ch is overhead and you can mute them uh, solo them adjust the saturation and the send level and then they have the effects section I, I assume like reverb delay okay so there's lots of control here that's pretty cool here's the next preset coral that's a really nice beat Okay, let's go to the next one. Domination. So it looks like the, the purple keys here control the mix and these are the pattern presets. FX six range. So these are the effects settings. These sound great. I don't know why I haven't used these before. That's Orient Vacation. This is really nice. You know, I'm glad I'm doing this because I get to hang out with you guys while I look uh, while I go through sounds. It's a contemporary analog melody. That's okay. Here's a contemporary analog sub bass. You might not be able to hear that if you're on your phone. Pretty nice. CR78. What is this? Let me see.
Sounds like an analog drum machine. Okay. like that. String Melody Orchestra. Oops. Okay, I've had enough of that. And the last one is World Instruments. Now, um, these seem like some that I would not really use. Uh, if I was thinking world instruments, I would think of more popular instruments like uh, an Urhu or um, an Irish tin whistle or a jambe or something like that. Roboto, let's listen to this. Okay. Not sure what an oud is. Persian nay. Shakuhachi. And I've seen that name many, many times. It's like, it's like in every keyboard. And I think it's pronounced Ulian pipes. I wonder if that's a bagpipe. So those are all the instruments included with the factory selection. Let's go to the um, next one. So I have this sound happening. Oh, you know what? It's here. There you go. That was driving me nuts. That was a little humming in the background. The next one is Soul, soul Sessions. And Soul Sessions so is 50 years of soul sound, butter, buttery keys, live guitar, bass plucks, dusky horns, vintage synths, and more inspired by the evolution of soul music. So I've been seeing a lot of these type of libraries that combined different samples and all, each of those samples is affected by um, the filter is affected, the attack, saturation, phasing, reverb, all these things. And you get some really cool effects and you get a brand new instrument essentially. So I'm gonna go through the presets or some of them and listen to what they sound like. Here is backroom bass. By the way, this will use the contact, the free contact player and the full version of contact. So you don't have to worry about um, whether you can use this or not. Some of the other libraries, I think you have to have other software to use, but I'll get into that later. Um, okay, let's go through some more. I'm not impressed yet. Let's mess with the filter. Chorus. Drive. Then you have a dice or a die here that can randomize, I think the, the sounds, the, both the sound source and the effects. Let's go through a different sound. Trippy bass. 
So far, don't care about the basses. Here are the guitars. Sorry, I keep looking for my sustain pedal. It keeps traveling. Nope. So while I'm playing this, my mind is going through all the possibilities of how this could be used and sound really good in a track. Um, some of these sounds are just unpleasant to my ear. I don't know. How do you feel about them? Please leave a comment below. Here's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one as well. Ooh, that's interesting. Do you hear the pitch go down, uh, down and then back up? called scratchy strat that one's a pretty cool one too so far the guitar ones are, are pretty nice let's listen to keys now let me go th really quickly go through the menu to show you what type of sounds you can find here. Here are mallets, organs, synths, synths, more synths, um, wind, wavetable, I believe, is WT. Yeah, um, so all of these sounds, you can choose one and put it in that slot so that you can combine different samples. <laughs> Bedtime stories, okay. It's a nice sound. I found with the play series that so many presets need tweaking before they seem usable. Mind you, we do all have our own idea of what it is. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, uh, last night I was playing with these play series, and I did find that whenever I adjusted these different parameters, it did give me a more interesting sound. But you know, we, we only have so much time in the day, and I don't want to spend it just tweaking sounds until it sounds good to me. But I guess you get better at it. I'm not really into sound design. I like the idea. I like the possibilities, but um, I don't do much electronic music to begin with. So I, I, I love sample based or acoustic libraries.
<laughs> Dennis Rodman. All right, mallets. That's a nice one. Ooh, blast it out. Is this a brass one? Or orchestra? Yeah, so here's an orchestra. I say orchestra and with air quotes. I think you really have to have an imagination bigger than mine, or at least have a very, uh, very different uh, taste in the music to appreciate most of these sounds and to make it sound good in your track. Um, this is not that inspiring to me. I'm not saying it's not going to be inspiring to you. I'm just giving you my opinion. That being said, that's a cool sound. When I think of soul sessions, I think that Motown sound or even lo-fi. So I was looking for sounds that match that aesthetic. Harp on love. This is going to be the last one. I want a more of a plucked sound. How can I do that? So that is Soul Sessions. And then the next one is The Gentleman. Why, do I have, why have all these shifted? The Gentleman is a classic upright piano that delivers balanced tone and a wide dynamic range sampled from a vintage upright. That's a very accurate description. So here is Basic Gentleman. Um, overview, you can ha you have tone control so you can make it sound darker or brighter it says soft and hard here so that's the color and then you can make it closed lid or open lid and this is simulated and then you can go into the anatomy um, adjust overtones stereo image uh, pedal noise release samples lots of different features basic pitch there's different types of tuning and then you have your reverb right here. So let's listen to it. Let me do, let me try that again. Oh, that's this is beautiful. This is one of my favorite pianos from Native Instruments. Doesn't take up that much RAM, yet it has a very detailed sound that sounds great across all the keys. And has some nice presets too. Love these high notes. I think this alone is worth not one ninety nine, but maybe ninety nine bucks. So I think that's this is uh, this 
at least takes up half the value of that bundle price. One more. That feels like it's right there in your face. Um, actually, let me see what other what other preset they have. Sparkling upright. Ooh, that sounds really clear. Sounds old. <laughs> and it has an immediate response, which I like. Let's go to the next one. Retro Machines. Um, I'm going to try not to spend too much time on this one. Retro, machine, Retro Machines is an old library. That being said, it still sounds really good. And it has samples from, from different famous analog synths. I don't remember all of them. I know there's a Mini Moog, the Mini 700. I forgot if, I forgot if that's Krumar or something else. Orchestrator, I think that's Krumar. Poly 6 is the Korg, I believe. And this is the Prophet 1. Quadrive, I've heard, heard of all these. Super JP, I don't know if that's a Jupiter. Not sure. Anyway, somebody out there is probably cringing that's an expert in, in analog synthesizers. So let's cover a few of these. Nice. That's beautiful. And you can sequence them. You can adjust the, the sound of the oscillators, add a filter, um, adjust the amplitude, adjust the LFO, all these things that you can do in normal synths. And create your own presets. I'm going to go to a different one. Unfortunately, I can't cover all of these, but here's a CP11 clav trim. Uh, okay. Here's a memory mode, I think. <laughs> That's right. That's good tonight. Uh, some that one doesn't sound great to my ears. That sounds like it has ring modulation in it. Very analogy sound. Ooh, 
Let's hear the mini Moog. Oops. Oh, nice. These are just effects. All right, next. Poly 6. I'm not going to go through all of them. I keep having to say that, but I know some of you are probably hoping I, I would choose a certain synthesizer. <laughs> a nice one. And then one last one from this, that is the prophet. I'm sure there's, they, those can be adjusted. I don't really care about that one, though. Then we have Scarby Mark I, which is a Rhodes. The sound of an iconic 70s electric piano, beautifully sampled and perfectly preserved in all its analog brilliance. Let's go through the presets. Um, this one you can con control bass and treble. It's very simple. Uh, instrument noise, so I think like the mechanical noise or the tines. Auto wah. Not Canada. Um, automatic wah intensity and yeah, you probably need that already you can uh, select by by note division compression chorus distortion phaser amp so lots of effects here It only takes up 86.59 megabytes of RAM, so it's very small. And you have your presets here. nice and let's do another preset pancake core ooh That's beautiful. It's a very simple plugin. It is one of their older ones, but it's still good. The next is the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. That's fun to say, Rickenbacker bass. The punchy mid-range and stunning power of a Rickenbacker 4003. 
uh, captured for the first time, officially proved approved by Rickenbacker actually. And this is this is actually a nice bass. It has a very unique sound, um, which I don't use in any of my music, but but it still I've played this many times before and it responds really well. So um, as it should, it follows the natural hand line of a bass. It has a really nice bark. Nice hammer on right there. And when you press the sustain pedal, you slide and it slides up to one octave. Except whenever I'm demonstrating it. There you go. Now the slide is velocity sensitive. So if I press one note and then hold down the pedal and then press hard, it slides up at 480 beats per minute. And I'm going to do a little slower. So that's a great feature right there. Nice. Here are the presets. Here's a tweedman. sound Halloween what makes it Halloween though I love that sound, to be honest. All right, uh, next, Ethereal Earth. Ethereal Earth, what does it say about here? Create hybrid atmospheric soundscapes and textures from acoustic instruments with unique processing for otherworldly sonic environments. All right, once again, we have that same setup in the, in the play series, at least I've seen it, uh, where we have A and B, and then we have our effects at the bottom. Very simple. Easy and intuitive interface. So uh, what are the sounds included? Well, it doesn't really categorize them like the other ones. They just have names to them. So I guess I'm going to just have to go through the presets. Presets, here are basses. Oops, <laughs> wrong one. All right, so this one doesn't really sound out of this world, but let me change the attack. And then here is a space, I think reverb. There's a fat knob, P-H-A-T. Now, if you're from, if you're uh, from the 2000s, uh, fat was a word that was uh, was becoming trendy meant the opposite of fat. <laughs> All right, don't really care about that one. That sounds Otherworldly, that sounds like I'm getting abducted by aliens. Actually, sounds like my washing machine. That one's cool. You can adjust the wavetable as well. 
Oh, that's cool right there. So these really start to come alive. These really start to come alive when you start messing with the parameters. Pretty cool. Echo Thunder. All right, so we have a bits knob right here. Sorry, I'm I'm a kid. All right, bits. Oh, I see what it is. I thought it was a, a nickname for something else. Bits. So you can actually downgrade the sound quality. Here's one bit. All, the, all of these are MIDI CC assignable. And you can blend um, blend these two. So if you want more of A or more of B or something in between, you can choose whatever you want. Let me hear some more pads. Obelisk pad. This is really cool. So motion pans from left to right. But where can you control that? It doesn't really show. Hold on. No. Omnipresence. This has a very space-like sound. Even though there is technically no sound in space. That's nice. Ooh, this is nice. That's giving me uh, Unsolved Mystery vibes right there. Scariest music on the planet, by the way. So it does live up to its name, otherworldly sounds and these ethereal textures that are just amazing. Rezzle balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is funny. Ooh, I like this one. It gives me a Attack of the Martians um, vibe. Sounds nice. I never knew this. I am a preset, uh, Jimmy. Maybe I should start playing with settings. I got the complete third. Oh, that's uh, congratulations. Yeah, uh, some of these I dismissed like right at the beginning because the presets were not really impressive. But then you start turning those knobs and then it's, it comes alive. It's when you start layering these, like have this at the bottom as a drone, 
start adding drums or something or a pia uh, cinematic piano on, at the top where you can see the true value of this ancient secrets All right, so that is Ethereal Earth. There's so much more to it, and I think I'm gonna actually spend some time experimenting with sounds on this. Nice plugin. Okay, Vintage Organs. Vintage Organs, the sound of five classic organs, Hammond B3, C3, M3, Farfisa Compact, and Vox Continental 2 in one sample-based instrument, as mentioned earlier. I'm just going to go through these really quick. Uh, they do come with different presets, of course, with tone wheel instruments. There's, uh, there are so many sounds you can get because look at this. So here's the B3 because of these draw bars. You can make it sound open. You can make it sound harsh. You can add percussion to adjust the attack. You can have a brado. I'm gonna take that off, actually. It has a picture of it as well here. So here's the B3, famous B3. By the way, the difference between the B3 and the C3 is that B3 is made for travel, even though it's like a couple hundred pounds. You can change amp settings, um, controller settings, sustain, can, uh, can control rotor speed or sustain. So lots of options here. I won't go into deep. So these blue keys are the upper manual, purple is your lower manual, and red is the draw bar preset. So if I cycle through these, I'm going to get different sounds. I'm not an organist, but I try. Okay. Next, let's listen to the C3. So this one was made for, for like a church. So it's more stationary and it's heavier. Very nice sound. Then we have the M3. I'm not very familiar. I've never played an M3 before. It has a slightly different tone. Oops. That's not it. So the swell is controlled by CC11. And right here, right now, the um, the rotary, or the Leslie is controlled by the sustain pedal. So when I press it, it goes fast. And you can see that right here. So.
So, uh, elbow V brings up a point. Actually, looking at the GUI, I can see these are different versions. There's no options to change settings. I guess they've closed them to those who have the player versions. That's a real shame. That is a real shame. I, I did, had no idea. Hmm. That's not good, but at least you can listen to the sounds. And here's a transistor compact. I actually really love that sound. Let's go to the presets. And then last one for this one. Okay, that's nice. And then we have the Vox. I keep making the same mistake. Listen to the different presets. Man, I should practice more. My playing sucks today. Beautiful sound. So you got you have lots of options, and this is something I'm gonna have to investigate more. Um, I didn't know that that it does limit you limit you to the control that you have over the the parameters. Um, hopefully, you do have different presets though. So that is Vintage Organs, still a great piece of software. Next is Drum Lab, and how much time do we have so far? Uh, hour twenty minutes. Okay, I'm good. I think I will cover these pretty quickly. But it is getting hot in this room because I have all my elect electronics on. Uh, so Drum Lab is a way... Let me read the description. A sonic laboratory for layering drums, combining pristine acoustic samples with a punchy electronic edge. So you have your all your drum pieces laid out in a grid like this. Um, and you can select one, select a drum piece, solo it, mute it, pan it, adjust the volume. And down here, you can mix the acoustic sample with the electronic sample. So if I want to just hear the kick, for example, I'm going to choose the um, electronic kick. And I could change those. Bulge layer. And then let's listen to the acoustic. Okay, and then you can mix them. You can also tune them. That's a cool sound right there. And then you have out, sub, overhead, trash. Filter.
trigger offset. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm not going to cover every single thing in here. You can adjust the attack, the hold and decay of both of those samples, and then add different effects like transients, which adds the, the initial attack sound or the release. So if you want the sustain of the instrument, So the, um, the release is going to um, increase the volume of the tail of the sample. Then compression, saturation, and the EQ and reverb. Ooh, don't like that sound. So I think this is a very cool way of actually getting the sounds together and creating your own kit. And then you can hear different grooves. Yeah. I think that kick needs. Sorry, I think that kick needs more, um, more bass. So this one seems like it's not as detailed as their, uh, their other sound libraries. When I see detail, details, I'm talking about the uh, dynamic layers. So uh, there's a soft sample, a um, mezzo piano sample, a mezzo forte, forte. Um, when you start layering those, then you get different levels of expression and it sounds more realistic, in my opinion. <laughs> So this is a really cool idea, a really cool concept. Let, let's go through the different sounds. So there's smooth, tight, fat, dirty, special, raw, and then user presets. Okay. Not impressed. I'm going to choose a different groove. Vinyl. Let's hear tight. Wood chamber. Ugh. Yeah, the the um the fact that it doesn't go deep into the samples is driving me nuts and it's it sounds too flat in my head. So uh I like the concept, the idea of this or the simplicity. Maybe it would sound better if it were just electronic drums, but the fact that it's acoustic makes it sound very flat and I wouldn't use this myself. All right, West Africa. I think it's important for me to be honest. I'm not going to say, oh, all of these are, are amazing. You should buy it, you know, just to help me make uh, make commission or wh whatever. I want to be honest with you guys about what I love about this, what I like about it, what I hate about it, what could be improved. 
Uh, the the Spotlight Collection is a collection of instruments from around the world, maybe some that are not as popular or known. And I absolutely love their Spotlight Spotlight Collection because it, it first it educates me on the different instruments that there are, uh, but it also gives you a um, a deep library for the sounds that can be produced from these instruments. Uh, my favorite is Cuba, by the way. Uh, this is West Africa. And it has percussion instruments and melodic instruments, as well as percussion ensembles. Let me just open it real quick on this side, Africa, West Africa. So as you can see, percussion ensembles, 12, 16, single percussion, 12, 16. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. And melodic instruments. So here is a djembe. Here you have your groove patterns. So if you hold it, it plays a standard African or West African groove. And if you want to edit that or look at it at the MIDI, you can actually change all of these and you can cycle through these different articulations. So here's a left and right hand. And then the X means slap, the diamond means open, and the square means the bass. So I'm hitting it on the very top and produce, producing a bass tone. You can adjust swing, fill, intensity, and reverb. Let me close this. And you can drag the MIDI into your DAW. And here are phrases. And then the yellow is just uh, different articulations. That's just one. There's djembe two. I'm looking for one with a deep open sound. I've actually used this on one of my live streams before. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let me open up some of these. So here are the melodic instruments. Bellophon 1. Ooh, listen to those, those harmonics. So when I hold it down, it makes it staccato as if I was keeping the sticks on those um, those mallets or the mallets on the little pieces of wood, the blocks. That's really nice. This is a beautiful instrument. Balone. I think that's how you pronounce it. So the black keys are your effects and here are your tones. But I don't know how to play the balone. There you go. Now I do. <laughs> So that's like their bass instrument. And the Fula flute. I like the name. So the black keys are your effect. Let's go to a different one. So there's a F version and the G version. Then there's the Chora. All 
Oh, that's a different tuning. beautiful and what are these green keys that is the percussion right and left all right uh next and then nego nagoni i think that's how you pronounce it And then I'm going to show you the percussion ensembles really quick. So this is going to be great if you want to add an African sound to like a score or something or even a song just to get this just to create uh, a mental image of maybe Africa or something. But aside from having those patterns that trigger all of the instruments, you have control over the individual pieces. All right, so that's it for West Africa. I put my phone on airplane mode so that I wouldn't get any calls and I'm still getting calls going through. That's really annoying. Okay. Um, so the next, and this, these are going to be the final ones. This is hopefully the final stretch. I'm not sure how long this is going to take are the expansions. So expansions are additional presets. And there it is that there's that sound expansions are those, um, presets. And in some cases, samples like loops and one shots, that are going to be extensions of battery massive and monarch so the first one is backyard jams let me go through this one backyard jams the eclectic sound of future beats and beyond west coast hip-hop meets freewheeling funk sunny soul and forward-thinking production so battery in order to access those backyard jams i forgot how many kits it includes you just go to um, library select kits and then type in backyard jams and then you get all those different kits in there I don't know if you have to have battery software or if the battery software um, or the battery player is free or not I should check that so here is one of them here's the clap kit so it has it has the clap if you're old like me, you know why that's funny. Okay. Hi hats. Oh, those are the kicks, and now open hi hat snares. Cosmic kit. Oh, that's cool. Drum some kid. I love this kit. Nice.
I'm gonna start skipping some for sake of time. <laughs> um, 86 here. All right, next one. So that's backyard. That's the the um, expansion for battery. Next one is the backyard jams, loops, and one shots. So you're gonna have to open the complete control software, and this is free. And when you go to uh, when you go to your loop sections here. You can click on types, I believe. Actually, let me see how I got here because I forgot. Uh, yes, click on this and then you're going to see the expansions that you have installed. And here's Backyard Jams. And then you have all these loops here that you can put into your track. And some of these sound really good. And these are going to be spread across all the keys that they're, they're going to be resampled. And you can also filter these, so vocals. That does not sound like... That doesn't sound like a vocal, it's, oh, it says vocoder. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to keep keep up with the conversation going in the going on in the chat right now. And then you have one shots. So go to, to here. You could also adjust the starting point and the end point like this. Now, as in the name, as it's stated in the name, this is a one shot. So it only plays once per key. That's a really cool effect right there. Oh, I love that one. That's a nice one. These are great for transitions in um, energetic music. All right, let's go on. The next expansion is Motherboard, and this is within Massive. So if you go to the browser and you go on the left side, bank name, go to motherboard. And then they're going to show up on the right side. So there's not a lot of them, but it's enough, I would say. So they have a very electronic sound, I think. I think computer. <laughs> this is the result of me butting into other people's conversations. So not a lot of presets in Massive, but um, like I said, it's enough. And there's already a lot of presets already in the factory content. So here is Motherboard for Monarch. So if you go into Monarch, or if you go into Reactor, open up Monarch. And it's a little tricky getting to it. You have to go uh, into the file menu and then go into your, your uh, sounds. So Monarch sounds. And then they show up right here in this corner. So here's breathing. I think that's the right library. Let me make sure. Yeah, motherboard. There you go. Clap station. <laughs> These names are bad. Okay. Uh, hi hat too lively. Indigo. K 
kick zap. Here's Leviathan. Low blitz. Sounds like my cat. Now these are cool. Um, some of them I, I think I'd rather use a sample instead. It'd just be a lot more convenient and sound the same. And then there's a motherboard expansion uh, for your loops and one shots. So the same thing, you go into your complete control software and it's going to be down here in the M section, motherboard. Here you go, click on that. And let's hear the loops. <laughs> My cat. Version 6 works last one. Uh, speaking of boomers. Okay, sounds good. I think these sound great. Uh, let's listen to some different, different sounds. Here's Soundscape. Here are chords. And then one shots. Excuse me, synth pad. The cool thing about one shots, even if you change the key, it still continues from that same sample point. All right, next, new boogie. This is a battery drum kit. Once again, you know what? This one, I um, I had trouble loading it. Absolutely kit. So absolutely kit is one of the kits that it's that is included in there. I think I didn't load this one correctly, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Let me skip that one. Uh, so new boogie massive. This is a massive expansion. So browser. And then. Why did I say new? It was Neo. Neo boogie. There you go. Let's listen to those. Drunk dip lead. That was interesting. Uh, I'm going to have to start skipping these. That's a cool one. This is Neo Toms or Neon Toms. Piano glow. Soft voices. 
synth piano. Triumphant horns. And xylophone. That's cool. Sounds good. And then we have our Neo Boogie Monarch presets. So this one you also have to go into the files and select the Monarch sounds. And here is... Oh no, that's Motherboard. What's going on? Neo Boogie. Monarch sounds. There you go. Acid Wash Pluck. Ooh, I like that one. That's a nice one. Which bass? There's so many sounds you can get out of this just monarch alone, a monophonic. Uh, let's go on. Solar breeze battery. Solar Breeze, uh, I didn't, I think I skipped one. Oh no, I, I missed Deep Matter. Maybe I'll go to it later. So Neo Boogie, I'll do that now actually. Uh, Deep Matter. So Deep Matter is 48 machine kits, 52 battery kits. So let me select that real quick. Deep Matter, Alicia kit. Thanks, Michael. Uh, the problem with, with this is that I feel like this keyboard doesn't allow me to play the way I want to. It's it's supposed to be good for everything, but um, but not excellent in everything. It's like playing piano or organ. It doesn't have the right feel for either, either of those. That's nice. So this is Deep Matter. It's supposed to be, whoa. It's supposed to be the sound of Berlin, Berlin techno. So lots of cool samples here. Berliner kit. All right. It also has 10 Massive and 15 Monarch presets. I thought I had set everything up, but that's good for you because you know that there is actually more that that's in it than I include in this video. Then you have uh, Tom's uh, Shaker, Snares, Tom Libraries. I already said Tom's. All right. Um... Let me open the Solar Breeze kit. So, Solar Breeze. I'm just testing different every different sound here. Maybe I'll skip some. Oh, I already have favorited some of these. Okay, pop. 
Puffy's Kit. Why did I favor that one? Unfaithful Kit. Yeah, this is definitely an amazing starter pack. Uh, let me go through the Solar Breeze Massive. All right, here's Amber. Lots of sounds. I'm hoping it ends soon because my ears are starting to hurt. <laughs> Not that I don't like being with you guys. What happened to it? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I had to restrike it. Okay, and then here is the Monarch presets. Solar Breeze, Solar Breeze, where are you? Solar. Uh, it's close, I can tell. Don't tell me I did not install it. I mean, uh, yeah, I did. It's, it's in here. It's Native Instruments. This is the annoying thing. It's trying to access those those presets there must be a way to save it onto their solar breeze s i feel like i've been staring at the sun oh sorry right here sounds and then monarch here it is does that sound like a solar breeze to you That's really bassy. That sounds like a solar breeze to me. All right, let's skip a few of these. Okay. Pretty good sounds. Lilac Glare is another battery um, expansion. B12 kit. Very trashy sounding, it just sounds good. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Catalina Kid. I'm just trying to ins find inspiration in these sounds. My fingers will do the work, but so far, um, a couple of them are not really inspiring. <laughs> All right, so that was Lilac Glare. Let me go back here and the melodic atmosphere of modern pop rhythms with raw acoustic and electronic electronic R&B flair. Expertly sampled and studio ready. Okay. So here are the massive sounds um, or the Lilac Glare sounds in massive. Uh, man, this is so small. Lilac, there you go. Sometimes I feel like I'm hearing a lot of the same sounds over and over. And then once in a while, I'll get a sound that just really amazes me. Let me listen to the pads here. I 
I'm almost there. I have. To, I can't stop now. <laughs> uh, pluck strings. Lilac Claire Monarch. I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this one. Ooh. Please be in here. Please be in here. Lilac. There it is. Sounds. Monarch. There you go. Again, it's great that these are included, that these expand or give you more presets, but they start sounding alike um, after a while. A true school. Uh, true school is a battery expansion. Oops. True school. There you go. Androgyny kit. And I'm going to skip a lot of these. There. That's Motortown. These are nice. Gives you lots of options to, lots of sounds to look for. Velvet Lounge is, oops, I'm trying to, I'm trying to scroll onto my iPad, um, but it's separate. VIP access to the sultry melodies, liquid atmospheres, and forward thinking rhythms of future souls. So this is this comes this is a battery expansion, massive and reactor expansion as well. So here are the battery kits for Velvet. Oops. I almost spelled Velveta. I think it's because I'm getting hungry. Flux kit. Looking glass kit. Ooh. So it's not just drums, it's uh, one shot samples as well that you can play like a drum set. And then here is a Velvet Lounge Massive. Velvet Lounge, where are you? Right here. Hello Pluck. Skip a few of these. All right. And then I put Velvet Lounge in Reactor for some reason. But, oh, okay. Yes, it is using, um, there are presets for Reactor here. Remember, Reactor is that modal synthesis plugin where you can create sounds that sound like real instruments. So here is Blown Gasket. Oh, what is going on here? I thought it was the Reactor Prism preset. Um, Velvet Lounge. Give me one moment. I was hoping this wouldn't happen because this is that awkward waiting time. So Velvet Lounge. So let me just make sure it's here. Sounds. Prism sounds. There you go. Bond bubbles. really 
nice sound, actually. Nuando lead. Nope. Don't like it. So that's it for the sounds. Uh, last thing, very, very last thing is the, um, are the effects plugins. Really quickly, we have Replica, and I'm going to use the Monarch plugin. Let me open this real quick. Where is it? There you go. It disappeared. I'm going to move that out of the way really quick and just open up a classic sound. Don't know why I can't hear anything though. Nope, uh, that's actually not working. So, feeling a little too tired. So, we have stuff coming in. There you go. That's really nice. And then we have ROM, which is a an incredible reverb plugin. If I can get it open. It's not a normal reverb plugin. You have this really nice shimmery cosmic effect here. Let's go through a couple of these presets. Metallic voices. Oh. Dark Sister. Then it comes with Solid Bus Comp. I won't go over this. Um, it's just a, a, it's a really nice compressor. And what was the last thing? The effects and phases. This one I will do phases, which is a phaser plugin. <laughs> All right. So is this worth one ninety nine? I would say absolutely, absolutely yes, uh, because there are all the, pretty much all the sounds that you would need to get started creating your own music, unless you're doing a, like a lot of orchestral stuff. In which case, I would say either use this, the, your stock plugins or your stock sample libraries, or move up to the next one, next bundle. Uh, this is a lot of sounds for one ninety nine. And like I said earlier, if you like this, give this video a thumbs up. If you're considering purchasing this, I've left a link in the, in the description. I do get a small percentage of it, but it's not going to cost you anything extra. And your support or your purchase helps support my channel so I can sit here and do all this stuff for you. And I appreciate it a lot. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought about this really, really long review. I'm going to try to create timestamps. That way you won't have to um, like ser search through it yourself. You can go s directly to a timestamp and or a chapter and listen to the plugin that you want. I will be doing a live next week featuring Complete 14 Standard and then the following week featuring Ultimate and then the Collector's Edition. And each one, each time I'm going to include new libraries. So I'm not going to go over these again. Well, friends, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. And please subscribe. If you haven't, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Take care.